Okay, in this video, we're going to go over Glacier National Park. Some things to know before you visit there. This here is a map of Glacier National Park. Glacier is located in the very top part of the state of Montana. In fact, you can even see here this border is the Canadian border. And in fact, part of the park really is kind of an extension into Canada. So if you want to go over to the Canadian side, they call that Waterton Lakes National Park, you would need a passport to get over there. But when I went, I, we didn't have the time to go to the Canadian side, so I'm just going to talk about the American side of Glacier National Park here. Um, John Muir said that you could spend a summer exploring Glacier National Park, said you should spend a summer exploring it. Of course, John Muir spent just about all of his time in the outdoors and was kind of crazy enough to fight grizzly bears and things like that. So he was an extremist, but certainly you could spend uh, a long time exploring Glacier National Park, all the nooks and crannies, all the hikes, all the lakes. It looks like an amazing place. Most people, though, will not spend that long. Um, a lot of people will just spend a day at Glacier and drive this road right here, right through the middle of the park. This is called the Going to the Sun Road. And it goes up to this peak right here. It, it as, ascends up to that peak and then descends down uh, on the other side there. So, and then another, maybe the second most popular road into the park is this mini glacier area right here. Now, of course, there's roads all over the place. Um, you can go on this inside North Fork Road. There's, there's spots here, these lakes that you can come in and camp at, uh, like right here, right here. So these are a little off the beaten path, of course. Most people not going to get to those. And we didn't get to them again. We only had a day in the park. So I just want to share a few things. I know about the park. I'm no glacier expert, but uh, maybe it can help you plan your trip a little bit from just the average Joe's perspective. That going to the Sun Road is only open from about mid-July to about mid-October. The opening and closing dates change every year based on the weather, but there's so much snow up there it takes them about two and a half months just to plow the road clear so that people can go there. I'm doing this video in 2020 in fact it's july 11th and that road is scheduled to open in two days july 13th it's a very short season glacier and so for that reason it's packed the national park is packed and this year in 2020 it's made a little more difficult because the east entrance over here as you can see is in the Blackfeet Indian Reservation and the Blackfeet tribe has decided due to coronavirus that they are not letting anybody uh, onto the reservation, meaning they're not going to let anybody enter Glacier National Park from the east side. So there's only one entrance now to Glacier National Park, which is west side at Apgar, uh, Apgar Village park is really struggling with how to handle this. They're thinking about doing a ticketing system where you're going to have to get reservations uh, ahead of time in order to get into the park. This is something the national park system has been really dealing with for, for many years anyway in many of the popular national parks like Zion and Arches, places where they are narrower places. Like a lot of these national parks have basically just one main road, kind of like Glacier does. And so they're really kind of struggling with being overwhelmed by the number of visitors that they have. So let me just go over a few things that we did when we went there. Let me zoom in on this here. We came into the park and we stopped right there at Apgar Village, right at the very tip of Lake McDonald. And, you know, we travel with kids. At the time we had three kids. And so it's hard to be a hardcore hiker when you have three little kids. So we tried to vary up our activities that we do on these vacations when we have kids and so you know to keep it interesting for them so we're not just hiking them to death and so here at Lake McDonald we rented a boat uh, kind of cruised around on the lake for a little ways I think we came over here to Fish Creek and hung out for a little bit and threw some rocks and stuff 
It was a really enjoyable activity. I, I think probably a lot of people don't do that. They're just in a hurry to get up to the going to the Sun Road, but that was really enjoyable for us. And then we now keep in mind too, you know, we stayed at Kalispell that night, which is down here. Kalispell, you know, is close to the entry, but it still is about 45 minutes away. So it takes you a little bit of time just to get to the park from Kalispell, which is, I think, the most popular place to stay as a, as a jumping off point. So it takes you a little bit of time to get to the park, you know, and then we did the boat ride. And then, you know, we started up on this going to the sun road. Now, you know, you're going through a valley here and you're, ex uh, you know, ascending up the mountain there. Oh, by the way, we stopped at the Trail of the Cedars Nature Trail. This was kind of a short little hike up in, up into the, uh, up into the mountains there. Again, you know, when we travel with little kids, we have to kind of do some shorter hikes that they're able to do. So that was a, a very nice little trail. You kind of got to go through some rivers and climb on logs and throw some rocks around. <laughs> As you can tell, I've got boys. They love to throw rocks. So uh, that little trail, the Cedars Nature Trail, was a nice, nice little stop. Anyway, then we went up the road here and you kind of come through the valley and you turn here. And then this called the loop here, you'll turn back up. Now this is the highlight right here. This is the very most famous part of the road, the going to the Sun Road, when you're heading up to the Logan Pass Visitor Center, which is right at the very top of the mountain. Because right here from the bottom of the loop, you can see kind of all the way up to the top. It's just an amazing, the most beautiful view you'll ever see. My wife says Glacier National Park was, is the most beautiful place she's been in her whole life. And we love the national parks. We've been to all these places around the Rocky Mountains. Glacier was stunning. As you're driving up, you'll, you'll drive past this weeping wall, which is just kind of a waterfall going down. Um, and then you'll get to this Logan Pass Visitor Center right here at the top. That is, you'll just, that's just kind of a nice little stop and you can walk out. I mean, it has this Hidden Lake nature trail that goes out to Hidden Lake. You can walk all the way up there. Uh, although, when we were there, we had we were there in July, so the road had just opened, which meant there's still a lot of snow around. And we did hike out on that little Hidden Lake nature trail, but I don't think we were able to go all the way to Hidden Lake because of the snow. It was still, the trail was still mostly covered in snow. That area though, really cool because you can see mountain goats there. We saw a little marmot. There's some cool little just wildlife that you'll see that we hadn't seen at other places. Tell us the enormous impact of this. All right, so Justin doesn't believe in mountain goats, but right now we are standing in the midst of two mountain goats and a hinny. Well, <laughs> yeah, I wonder what that is. I wonder if that's a mix between a mountain goat and a ram. Well, honestly, it's three mountain goats, but one of them is kind of ugly. So we're, we're calling it a hinny. Hello. Hello. Uh, we really, really enjoyed it up on top. A very wonderful little, very nice little stop there. And then we kept going down the road all the way here to St. Mary Lake at the bottom. And again, you can see all these, these little hiking trails going off of this road. You could stop and explore. I mean, you could explore so much there at Glacier. It's just, it's just crazy. But the thing is, you know, if, if you're staying at Kalispell, for example, like you have to get all the way over and then all the way back in one day. And, you know, we were able to do a boat ride and basically two hikes. And then we, you know, of course, when we got to St. Mary Lake, we just turned around and then drove back on that going to the Sun Road all the way back. So we were able to do a boat ride, two hikes, and the drive. And that took a full day. By the time we were done uh, and had left the park, you know, we stopped just outside there for dinner. And uh, there's a lot of huckleberries that are grown around in that area. 
So you can get huckleberry pie and just fresh huckleberries to eat at just about any little stand right around there. So we did that and it was, it was fantastic. Um, but that, that took a full day. And, you know, so if you were going to plan to try to do other parts of the park, of course, you know, we could have spent a second day kind of exploring some of this area up in here. Uh, but we didn't have the time to do that. If you're going to go over to the Canadian side, uh, maybe in 2020, perhaps you need to go up here. I'm not quite sure about that. Normally, I guess you could go out this side of the park and up that way, but uh, I don't believe you can do that right now. And in fact, I'm not really sure. I think many Glacier in 2020, I think many Glacier is pretty much closed because of Corona and I think they're doing construction on that and I think it might be closed through much of 2021 as well so check on that before you go um, but anyway that's just kind of a little overview of Glacier National Park definitely worth it I would probably recommend you know I wish we had done two days at Glacier at least so I would definitely recommend two days although I'm glad that we went on the boat ride and and the hikes and all that I would recommend a little more time exploring some other places in the park. Um, and there you go. Hope, uh, hope that helps you understand Glacier just a little bit. It's really a fairly simple park. Like a lot of the national parks, it's pretty much just one road out and back is the main highlight. And I definitely recommend going to Glacier. If you can make it, you should make it at least once in your life. Okay, if this video was at all helpful for you or instructive uh, please consider subscribing to my channel and if you have any suggestions for what to do at glacier or any suggestions for any other videos please let me know in the comments thanks